Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Agent's Edge. My name is Ryan Palomini. Today we're gonna to talk about the three levels of marketing. Now, I've done all of these and I do all of them in my practice today, which is why we have so many people to talk to at all times. Truthfully, I can't even handle it at our office anymore. We're at the point where we have to give some stuff away. It is insane how much we are doing in the marketing. But because we have three channels constantly feeding us potential clients. So let's talk about the three. Now, I was actually talking to an advisor yesterday as we were coaching him, and he was asking me about what the best thing for marketing is. He actually had gone out, did a million dollars in annuities. I was so fired up to hear about it. But he asked what the best marketing, you know, but what, what he should do from this point. And my reaction was seminars. Now, I wouldn't have said that two years ago, obviously, because we were in a COVID world, but we are on the outside of COVID now. And people are willing to come back to live events. Uh, you know, I know we are recording this, I don't know, at the end of February. And in March, we have our, I'm doing dinner seminars. I'm back to doing them. Um, we have 80 people already registered for our dinner seminars. So they, they do work. They're back. Um, we also have live federal seminars for our federal employees. So they do work and they are back. So I think that if you're looking at the scale of marketing, and you really want to get in front of quality people, and you want to do it in a way uh, where the serious people are going to come and see you, I look at it as three ways. Number one is seminars. So seminar is layer number one. That's, the, that's going to give you the best quality prospect that you can get. Why? Because you're in front of the room as the expert, talking to them for an hour, right? They're, they're going to get to know you a little bit. But here's what I love about doing a seminar is by the time you're done, you know what they know because you know that the, that the topic you just spoke on got into their head. They heard it. You now know that they know a little bit. And then the goal is to get them on your calendar to come into your office to meet you face to face. So that's the highest level. When, when I first started in the annuity and financial advisory world, that was all we did, which is live seminars. I used to literally do seminars all over the country. I lived in Florida. And I was doing seminars in Connecticut. I was doing seminars in Virginia. I was doing seminars in Atlanta. I was doing all over the place because I wanted access to a lot of people. Now, you, don't, you may not do what I've done. You got to do certain things to get certain results, but you may not do what I've done. So if you can do them locally, great. We still do them in different places. As of right now, I have uh, dinner seminars here in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is where I live. We have seminars in Salem or Roanoke, Virginia. And we have them in Virginia Beach. We also have them live right now going on in Boston, Charleston, and Connecticut. So they work. If you're willing to go and do the work, you will get the results. I promise you that. But those are the highest level of marketing. Now, some of you may challenge me on it. I've been doing it for a while. I've never seen a better quality prospect. And you may say radio, TV. Okay, that's, that's, we could look at that more as lead gen. But that's, that could be quality as well, too. Second level down is webinars. Webinars have been incredibly effective for the last couple of years. Um, you know, obviously, because people were more afraid to come meet you at your office. Those days are starting to tailor away now. Uh, webinars were really good when they first started. They are getting a little bit more saturated now than ever, but it still is a good quality lead, and you can get a lot of leads. And here's the difference, though, between doing seminars and doing webinars. Webinars take the barriers of entry, you know, off the table. Why? Well, because you can do a webinar and have people from all 50 states on your webinar, not just in Raleigh, North Carolina, right, or in Virginia Beach or wherever you're hosting your event where you could only have it in that one spot. The webinars are lights and, you know, really break down the barriers and be able to cross-sell different states. Now, all you need is a non-resident license for those different states to be able to sell. Last year, you know, my firm, we sold in 26 states from my office here in Raleigh. It's a beautiful thing, right? It allows you to really meet a lot of other people that you would not have normally met, really, you know, take your sales to another level. I mean, we did 13 million just in virtual sales last year. So it does work. Trust me, it does work. Now, you know, you start looking at doing a variety of seminars and webinars, and maybe you're at, maybe you're doing some seminars here and you're doing, you know, $4 million a year and you drop in a webinar, you know, once a month and that adds another 2 million. Well, great. Now you went from four to six, right? And just by adding one more vertical to your marketing, 
the last kind of level down we look at is just simple lead generation. Now that could be buying leads from you know a vendor that could be doing email campaigns to create leads. So that one is, it, it takes a little bit more work. Um, the quality is not gonna really be there because think about it, on a seminar and on a webinar, they listen to something, right? You pique their interest with a certain topic and they are a little bit more familiar with you now and they're willing to get on your calendar and talk to you, the expert. If you're doing it through a lead gen, you know, maybe they saw something online that they were interested in. They, they saw you know, a flashy annuity rate right? that they want to get in more in information on. Sometimes they're just shoppers. Um, if you're doing lead gen through like an email campaign, you got to work the lead a little bit harder. So it may take you a little bit longer to get to the destination, but still a good lead. Now, if you have all three of those things coming at you, you really are in a good position because the name of the game is talking to people. The more people you talk to, the more opportunities you're going to have to be able to take on more clients. What I see a lot of people where they fail is they have no one to talk to or very few people talk to you or you do a seminar, right? You meet with people for the next month and you don't do another seminar in between there. That's a mistake. That's a lack of consistency. So no matter what you're doing with marketing, it's got to be a consistent marketing strategy so you can stay consistent and keep your pipeline full. It's like when back in the day when I used to do mortgage protection, final expense, you'd have someone that went out and had a big month, right? They sold ten, fifteen thousand dollars in life insurance, made a bunch of money, and then took the next few weeks off. That's the problem because you lost momentum. And a lot of you, when you go out there and you make a big annuity pop, and maybe you make you know five, six thousand dollars in commission you should be taking a big portion of that and dumping it back in to doing what got you that position in the first place, doing it to get to the marketing, to the next level. Always be thinking like a business owner. Don't make five, six grand, go blow it. That's stupid. Take it, reinvest it back in your business so you get the momentum going so that now you're making 30, 40,000 a month kind of on autopilot because of how full your pipeline is. That's a very different business model that a lot of people miss. So I want just to jump on here because Again, everything that I'm telling you, that I've always told you, we do here at our firm. We have all three of these methods going at, at once right now. We've got seminars, webinars, and, and lead gen that we create. So do the same. If, you, if you're doing one vertical, start adding another vertical or think about how you can get to the next vertical. All right. I hope it's been helpful for you. Take advantage of this year. We're early in the year. It's only the end of February. Go out and knock it out of the park. You have all year to make it happen or reach your goals. Look, you're one big annuity sale or one big lifestyle way from an explosion in your business. Get the cash flow, dump it back in, keep the ball rolling. Look forward to talking to you on the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you have not yet. Hey, give us a like. We appreciate it. Leave us a comment if you need anything. See you on the next episode.